spring in Iowa. The days are a little bit longer, the weather is a little bit warmer, and growers begin planting all of their garden favorites. During this magical time of year, one of the first foods to welcome you to spring is none other than asparagus. If you love asparagus and want to grow your own, there is no time to waste. Establishing an asparagus bed takes a few years, and there are some guidelines you will absolutely want to follow so your bed can reach its maximum potential. Fortunately, as an agricultural state, Iowa is packed with growers and food experts who know the best practices for growing this delicious ingredient. Smack dab in between Council Bluffs and Des Moines sits Bridgewater Farms. Father and son Dale and Tyler Rash plant just about anything that can grow in Iowa. What we're trying to do is we're trying to grow healthy food. It's all certified organic. Like everybody says, it's pretty much from uh, asparagus to zucchini and it's about every, everything in between. Dale and Tyler would argue that they are not asparagus experts, but seeing what they can do using organic farming practices, it becomes clear that they know a thing or two about planting, maintaining, and harvesting this unique vegetable. Nice and juicy. We can give you some tips, but we're, we're still learning a lot on, on the asparagus too. Well, I'd say it varies pretty much on the weather. So when it starts to heat up into the 50s and 60s, early in the spring, and you have those nice soft rains, then it'll really start to pop through. But if you get any temperatures below freezing, then that's when it'll, it just becomes flimsy and floppy. So it's no good at that point. It's been too cold for it, so it just, it's just slow coming up. Unlike its wild cousin, most domesticated varieties of asparagus don't compete well with grass and weeds. Maintenance of your bed is key. The big thing is not get carried away and plant too much to start with. But the key to it is to try and keep the weeds out of it. Well, the ideal height is probably about six to eight inches tall. And the thing is, if some of them are a little bit taller than that, you can snap off a little bit so they're, you can keep them all uniform when you go to bunch them or to sell it. It's kind of flimsy towards the top, and as you go down, there's kind of a sweet spot. If you go too low, it won't break. It'll just bend. If you go right in the middle, then there's just a little spot where it just snaps right off. If it gets smaller than a pencil, they usually say that's when you need to just let it go. Then it needs to build its root system up for the next year. Because if you don't allow it to do that, it won't have anything to keep it going. By late summer, asparagus looks nothing like its spring self. Once you let the stalks grow and the spears unravel, the plant develops foliage and even berries that birds will eat. Of course, you can find asparagus year-round in most grocery stores, but it's that small two-month window when asparagus is at its peak here in the state. There's a huge difference. You really get the natural taste, and of course it's picked fresh, so everyone really loves that. I don't think I've ever met anyone who doesn't like asparagus. It's pretty much, a, pretty much relatively a fan favorite. <laughs> 